Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Civilization VI. Coming at you with episode four of the Wonder Start series featuring Mansa Musa on the Sahara Al Beta. And uh, just so you guys know, normally these Wonder Starts have been going like four episodes, and that's good. Get you the first hundred turns or so. We are actually going to change that for this episode. We talked about it last night at the end of the stream. Chat convinced me we're taking this one all the way to the end. So this is going to be episode four. And then there'll probably be two episodes more. Maybe three. Hopefully two. We'll basically space them out as we get towards the end of the game. We're going to go for a sub-200 science victory. I think we're going to quite... I don't want to jinx myself, but it feels like it's going to be there. Feels like it's going to be there. Things are going really good. We just hit our second Golden Age. It's a medieval one, and we know that that means free inquiry. Free inquiry, Golden Ages. Eureka's provide an additional 10% of technology cost, commercial hub, harbor districts. Gold adjacency bonus provides science as well. That's going to be huge. We're going to have some Sugobas. It's going to be so much science. It's going to be so much science. We're at 44.5. Keep an eye on that. So what's going to happen is we're going to have these Sugobas. Which, uh, like, five, five. In one turn, we're going to have the the double point. So that's actually going to be ten and ten. But it's going to continue to go up because we have our holy sites that are actually still constructing. So a lot of these are just going to keep getting better and better and better. And becoming more and more sites. We already, of course, have the 22 production, 22 faith holy site here. And the 18, 18 here. More fantastic holy sites going up. Unfortunately... Our delay on campuses, which was part of the strategy, is actually going to be met with uh, quite disdain because the first medieval era was the one that we wanted. We wanted the 22 science. Uh, great scientist. And we're not going to get it. But we're going to live with it. We're going to live with it. We're not going to cry. There's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in Civ. Unless, of course, you get one turned on a kill wall or something like that. Then you can cry a little bit. We're going to move over here. We're going to continue to buy tiles. Um, kind of want to buy this tile for this guy. This guy's going to jump up here and lumber mill that next turn. We did lose, obviously, our monumentality, which sucks because nobody likes slow builders. Certainly not. Certainly not me, anyway. So we're going to come down here. We have we have plans for some new cities. Hopefully, we win the race to them. Uh, we have a settler here coming down to this one. We have Settler here coming down here, and we have a Settler, where did he go? This one here actually just got bought. Uh, he'll be on the move down here. So, fingers crossed all things go well there. Um, this guy's going up here, I want to mine that. I also want to chop that. I need another builder down in this area. Kind of low on builders. We, we pushed Sagubas really fast. In fact, we pushed the Sagubas so quick that we actually um, I actually skipped out on the monuments in order to get them built because I knew that I was getting to this golden age and I didn't want to have the Sagobas missing. So we're gonna we have a couple cities that need the monuments still. This city needs one more population. Um, I'm actually gonna take that off for the production focus. One more population and I can build this holy site here. Um, actually going to go ahead and buy this tile before it gets any more expensive. And we'll get that hoy site going. I'm also going to purchase with gold because the Sagoba is done. So I got a discount the galley for 205 bucks. Uh, like that. That's going to be two era score next turn. I'll buy another one and that will trigger the Eureka for Bologna to get sh ship building. Uh, what else do we need in here now? This one's new naval tradition. Train a crossbowman, we can get that done for kill uh, Kumasi, no problem. Scientist, scientist, and Eureka for castles. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember, what is that? Oh, that we'll get that one, we'll get that one. No problem. So, the other thing I gotta do, which is gonna be tricky right now. Uh, it's gonna be extremely tricky. Can I get this without? Yeah, I'm gonna put a turn into this. Until I get that. 
once I have that, I'll go into buttresses. I'm trying to avoid the researching of apprenticeship, finishing this off, because I don't want to have the research for industrialization yet. And I'm also uh, delaying the research of a couple other things, because what I want to do is get Jay Bolton. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome aboard. Galley exploration, baby. Um, what I want to do is I want to get some cheap campuses in a couple cities where I have crap. Uh, I want to be able to place down a couple of campuses, uh, particularly one here. And I, and I can get the 40% reduction in cost because I'm going to have a lot of districts built here soon. Um, nine turns on the holy site. As soon as I can get a discount on campus, I can actually get the discount on campus right here. I can, I can now get the discount on campus. The number's good. But I was hoping to get two, and I don't think the number is good for two yet. Uh, I'm going to place the one. I think that's the one I want to place. This is a super ineff ineffective city. This one also I'd like to place, but I want to have the population until seven for that one. Maybe this city I place this one as well in 10 turns. I'm going to go ahead and place this one for the 40% discount. And we'll finish off the Saguba first. Then, hopefully we'll have enough districts built here as these holy sites rip off that I can get this campus maybe placed in here at pop 7 for the discounted price. Um, yeah, that's probably the best bet. Pop 10 almost in here. Looking good. Turn to Romy. That's a tough break, Romy. Oh, Romy. Groovy. Yeah, Japan. Oh, somebody asking about Japan. I might have missed a question there. Yeah, half, half, Japan's OP. Bum, 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 bum. J. Bolton, thanks again for the follow. And yes, enjoy the tutorials, guys. Basics tutorials. They're not just for noobs. They, uh, they'll they teach you all kinds of stuff, I promise. I uh, was wondering what Civ you'd recommend for a beginner. I've played about five games and always seem to lose or stuck by turn 20. Um, Rome is super, super basic Civ. Really easy and good basic abilities that come out of that. So I would say Rome is a really good choice. Um, Japan kind of acts naturally uh, with like just giving you better uh, like districts, but that's um, I always say Rome is the best one to start off with. And uh, but the one first thing I would say is watch spend less than three hours, watch those tutorials, and then play a game, and you will see a massive difference. Uh, something I struggle with is figuring out when uh, to get traders. Uh, never delay. Uh, I I often build them. I, I rarely buy them. I'll often just build them. I'll, whatever city's not doing anything at the time that has really high production, I'll just grind out the traders in there. Sometimes I'll buy them occasionally, but you never delay. Uh, whenever you've got empty trader capacity, the next thing you do in a city that's high production, so next turn, I'll have a trader going in one of these cities. Probably in Segu. You never delay because it's just it's just free value, right? Rome is always good, yeah. Lord H bomb, I am looking well. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Watch the tutorials tonight. Ah, uh, good stuff. I'm glad to hear it, man. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback about them, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. In there. Uh, this guy is waiting one more turn. This guy's waiting one more turn, as it turns out. The God Starts are uh, good. Yeah, I'm enjoying them as well. Um, and they're going over well on YouTube as well. So people are enjoying them. I'm enjoying making them, so there you go. We're actually continuing this one, like I said. Ooh. Because 
Uh, we're continuing this one in particular because the uh, it just had such a great start. I didn't want to not, you know. Uh, nothing here that really actually applies to us. I am gonna say that though. Just in, just I have a bit of a reason for that. And I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna get Suleiman gets double, because he's been pick he's been picking on uh, um, Kumasi. So if he declares again, I want him to get. I don't want him to get away with it. But I'm not gonna waste any stuff on that. Gentle eruption. Joshua, how you doing? Traders equal one more. Great merchants. Yeah, plus one for great. Yeah, the great merchants that give you plus one trade routes are fantastic. Like trade routes are just such great free value. Uh, the chosen player generates one hundred percent more grievances. Oh, it's Patrick Cody that got that, and siege units get extra ability. Okay, there you go. I won neither of those and didn't care about either. Okay, so now let's take a quick look at what's happening here. Governor promotion, Pingala gets grants. That's a no-brainer. Finally. So what's going to happen is we actually have the Oracle in here. So that's going to compound with uh, Pingala. That's going to give us that many more points. Um, I also would like to... I need to finish the theater square off. I'm going to grind out the trader and then do the theater square. Um, this guy is continuing to move here. I'm going to have that guy go like that. This, oops, sorry. This guy's going to go in here. That guy's going there. We're going to jump in there. Need another builder in here. This guy's uh, going there. Actually, I should have went the, here first because I think this is more likely to be taken. God, I'm afraid I'm going to step over here and there's going to be a freaking settler coming. I can't believe they haven't settled a city there yet already. Okay, so Goob is done in here. Let's go ahead and get that campus. Seven turns on that campus in a city with very minimal production. That is fantastic. Although it's going to get even better. Six turns because I just did that lumber mill. So campus coming in hot. Um... I'll tell you something, guys. It's hard not to grab this. It's really hard not to grab that Temple of Artemis in four turns. I do need one more warrior. Right there. Same thing happened in your recent game? Oh. Good science run with the salad and uh, a bunch of salad. So much further to go. No, it is. It's so weird. Like Coliseum is. I I got to get Coliseum built, but I need to wait two turns. I think what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna actually do? I changed my mind. Um, I'm going to Temple of Artemis in four turns. I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing it. I lose this tile here. But I don't mind that too much. I'm I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and bite the bullet. Get it done. Do it. No hesitation. No regrets. Um, this guy was heading down this way. Because I'm going to chop down this. To finish off that holy site. Um, yeah, I was... Uh, okay, I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget anything. There's a lot of stuff I got to do here. Um, this guy's coming there. I'm going to purchase one more galley. That's shipbuilding. That's the envoy for Bologna, which counts as two because we had the card on. 
like that. We can now turn that card off. Um, I need to put on, I think this is going to go down here because I actually want to put on, uh, we need this card and then I need um, commercial hub adjacency. So commercial hub and holy set adjacency bonuses. We need plus two uh, there and production in all cities is still a solid get. Corvée would help me in the one city towards, but I'm I'm crushing those anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. In four turns, when I finish this, I build the entertainment complex. We get going towards Colosseum. Fingers crossed. Um, I am accumulating faith, and I need to get my religion spread. Uh. I'm actually going to do just buy a couple missionaries right now. And I'm going to start spreading it. Because, um... As when these holy sites get built, I want the, uh... The religion to be... What do you call it? Followed in those cities. Because they'll get the production as well as the adjacency. Uh, yes, Zondag, I have work ethic. I have a 22-22 in here, and I have an 18-18 in there. And that's why I want to spread my religion, is I would like to get these other cities that have the fantastic holy sites to have that as well. So I want to get the religion out to those. Those fellers. And then this, finally, this great merchant I can send out to uh, get a copy of a luxury for me. Because I can finally get in the water. We finish shipbuilding. We're going to get into buttresses now. I'd like to get one more 40% off campus before I get apprenticeship. I currently qualify for another one here. Is this a city I want to do it in, though? See, there's only so many cities where I can do it because I've, I've, I've got to have a good population. I'd have to skip the holy site here, which I don't know if I want to do. Hmm. This is almost pop seven. If I ate that jungle... If I ate the jungle and ate the tree, this would get the pop seven, and I could lay the campus down here. That would be another option. Is is work ethic still bugged? Uh, how is it bugged? Uh, it's work ethic. He has something like thirty five percent production from just two holy sites. Yeah, there's. What do you mean? How's I don't know what I mean by it's, it's bugged. I'm not aware of a bug. Oh, really? Um, that's actually interesting because that actually used to happen with uh, commercial hubs in the. Um, so we're currently getting our our science in the Segubas. That actually used to happen the same way as if you got if the if your commercial hub got pillaged during a free inquiry golden age where you're getting the science, you could never get the science back. So that's kind of brutal then. Yeah, if if a de if a uh, sandstorm ever blew through here and destroyed them all, that would be a that would be just atrocious. Whew. That would that would be me crying all over the desk profusely. Uh, we want to get in here. I want to get Taj Mahal started ASAP. I cuz I'm going to be grinding it out. I'm going to be grinding out Taj Mahal on this city right here. Um I may do a couple chops, but other than that, 
going to be about it. Research beach umbrellas quickly to protect against the sandstorms. Yeah, they'll patch it for sure. I'm not. I don't. No question. They patch it. They patched the. They patched the commercial ups ages ago when that happened over a year ago. Just little things. Little things. Am I right? So buttresses were good. I think. I'm going to. Two turns. I'm going to eat this. Three turns actually. I'll wait for Magnus. Get that to pop seven. Throw down that campus. Then we go and. And do our thing. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'd like to buy that tile with this guy. And I'd like to make sure that this city has it. Seven turns on the holy site there. Seven on that one. Eight on that one. Nine. That one will speed up quickly. That's nine. That's seven. Okay, good to go. Uh, it doesn't matter, 12 Eskimo. Um, other than the value of the chop might go up slightly if you wait a few turns. But I just chop whenever it's convenient. Like I'll, I'll, I don't mind starting a wonder and then chopping a little bit later. Uh, if if it just the timing isn't there yet. If I'm waiting on Magnus, I'll start the wonder. Magnus waiting on him to establish for a bit. Then I'll do the chops at that point, waiting for a builder to get there, whatever. It really doesn't make any difference. Other than the fact that the value of the tree chop or whatever it is may go up incrementally if you waited a little bit, but we're talking about a low likelihood that it would even make a difference in the turn timer. And then basically straight through there. Uh, this guy... Uh, one more turn, we get it for free, which is good because I can do it anyway. So we'll chop that next turn and speed that up. Oleox, you have to get. Oh, if you converted it to another religion and then back again, yeah, which you basically would need you'd need help, right? You'd need somebody to come and take it from you. The odds of them taking it from my central area is pretty slim. Uh, I'm going to send this guy this way. Nice. So these guys have it. So when that one's done, I might hit that. What have we got? I'd like to use as little faith as possible to do this. So, uh, I need to go down and hit this city as well. Next turn, we're pop 10. Okay. Uh, this guy's heading in there. Sorry about the question. How do you build forts? Uh, forts are built with... I never build them. I believe they're built with military engineers, right? Or there's a couple... Of, I think there's maybe two or three different military, especially military units that can build them themselves. But that's essentially it. Uh, yes, I'll be gold buying um, in this city. I'm, I don't really have another city that has amazing chops or really much chops at all. Um, I could potentially get a second one, but I've saved all the chops in my capital. I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus these. That would equal kind of 10. So I have a ton of chops uh, in my capital. That would be my spaceport city. Um, and then I don't really have a lot. Of, usually I almost always go for two spaceport cities. Um, but down here, by the time I chop out all the districts and stuff like that, I'm not going to have a whole lot of chops in here. Then here is mostly jungle, so that's not going to help me much. But yeah, definitely be gold buying. Not faith buying, but gold buying uh, with Reyna.
with a bit of a, just so that you have two different um so what happens is at the end of a game it's all about speeding up your um your spaceship right and uh, whatever you want to call the darn thing and so you have to do projects and if you have royal society once once per turn in the city you can speed up like uh, a project so if you have seven or eight charge builders you can spend one in both cities so you're spending it in both plus if you have chops in both cities you're speeding them up that much faster in both do you know, does that make sense uh so just having two different cities both doing the projects to speed it up it's not that big of a difference because you know once it's taken up i mean it might shave two or three turns off the end victory time or four or five turns off the end victory time which isn't that big a deal to most people but when you're trying to go sub 200 a second pace spaceport often makes a difference yeah the laser bee things yeah <clears throat> So it's not incredibly vital. Like that's why I'm not that worried about only having one in this city, but I like one in this in this particular game. Alright, you guys. Another continent. And that's Pachakuti, okay. Oh shoot! Did I waste a turn? I think I wasted a turn. Uh alliances. Alliances, let's go. Um First of all, I want a science alliance with her because she's my big closest neighbor. So I want an alliance of the research nature. And accept deal. Um, and then Pachacuti I could probably come across here. So that's close. So I'm going to take a culture one with him. Because I'm not worried about... I'm not worried about... Uh, whatchamacallit, anyway. Or maybe... It doesn't really matter. Maybe I go... Oh, he doesn't have the ability to do alliances yet. What are you doing, bro? I was thinking about economic with, with Patrick Cody, to be honest with you. Also, do you have... I think I already have a deal with him for both of these. Yeah. That's fine. I'm going to meet some people here soon, hopefully, and then I'll be able to sell them off. He's coming to put a settler in here. Uh, Wappa Man. Thank you very much. Um, do I want to go? I don't really have a need to go around that way. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just going to send both galleys that way for now. So I've got the two missionaries going. I think the next thing I'm going to start doing is buying my markets with faith. An architect should live as little in city. Two turns on Temple of Artemis. Uh, buttresses. I'm delaying on that. Delaying on that. Can't get that. Trying to try to get an aqueduct built. Gonna delay on that. I think I'm coming here to cartography. I'm not gonna get the harbors built anyway. Claim great person. 
I'll take on boys. I'm, I'm probably going to get every great merchant, to be honest with you, so. How do you deal with the constant requirements for amenities as your cities grow? Uh, well, first of all, don't think that growth is... Like, you don't need pop 15, pop 20 cities. Every every time you grow your population, three population, you need more amenities. So having pop, pop 15, pop 20 cities, there's no point. At, at some point, you just, you're just you just creating less happy citizens. Um, making sure you're trading for luxuries is a priority uh, to bring them in if you need them. Always, of course, just look uh, at what you've got. Um, build Coliseum. That's why it's easily one of the best three wonders in the game, no matter whose list you're looking at, if they know what they're talking about. Coliseum is huge. Uh, Temple of Artemis this late is fine, but it's not worth the... Usually it's gone. It's not worth the the, the price it costs early on in most games. Uh, what you have to sacrifice early in the game is, is typically not worth it, but... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, it's not... Um, you just gotta keep an eye on it. Trade for luxuries. You can usually get luxuries from the uh, for a lot cheaper than you can get uh, your your duplicates sold for. Like it's pretty cheap usually. Look at this jerk! Get your freaking stinking religion out of here! That makes me want to buy a freaking apostle and just go start wiping those jerks out. Um, faith buying markets now. Every two turns we can faith buy a market. Um, would you say 10 pop cities max? Well, not necessarily max. There's some cities where you might want to get to 13 to build an extra district. Um, you know, and certainly like there's cases where it's there's a argument to be made to have some of your main cities be a little bit bigger so they can work more tiles but once you get to pop 10 you're getting your bonuses from your enlightenment civics and stuff like that your enlightenment cards there's no much point the bard thank you for the follow buddy appreciate it welcome aboard I'm gonna get that theater squared bit built. Uh, how do you get wonders to appear or created map? I placed by a TT, but it uh, doesn't show up. I have no idea, Bard. I've never, I haven't had an issue with it. To be honest with you, I don't, I don't really know what to say there. I've never really had an issue. Four turns off of that. I'm sorry to say I can't help you there. Uh, we're waiting one turn here. And wait that, speed that up. These guys are annoying little bastards. The other thing I got to do too is before I oh shoot I don't have the uh, I don't have the plus two charges on my builders when I settle the city I'm not gonna get the plus two charges I don't want to wait that long though in four in six turns it might be worth waiting there and this one's not gonna get here in time anyway or sorry here oh shoot oh no rip city. Oh no. I I could still get a city in here though. Uh that is gonna make things tricky. Oh 
<laughs> there was going a campus there. That is going to squeeze us in, though. I guess I could put their commercial hub here. That's a holy site hitting those two. That holy site's hitting those two. That's... Yeah, the only thing that's... Yeah, that's not bad. I could just put the commercial hub here for this city. So it would just go here. This could actually become the campus instead of taking away this tile. This could be the campus because it's still a plus three. What a jerk. I mean, I was surprised it took him this long. I'm surprised I got this city out of it. Um, and then what I do is I probably just go commercial hub here for this city, the Sakuba. Saguba. Right? So that's a plus three holy site, plus four, I guess. And then this is a uh, two, four, six Saguba. Doubled. All right, there you go. Thank God he settled there and not up here, or else I'd have been hooped out of that one. I could go grab the honey. Uh, I'm getting oranges from Kumasi. That city's looking. That's what I'm. Hmm. You know what? I think I should probably turn that guy around because at least they're going in opposite directions and it helped me with the circumnavigate. I never thought about circumnavigate. That's a good point. Get these holy sites built as soon as possible. Our science is killing it. And it's just going to keep getting better. We can go next. Oops. We can go next turn here. Okay. These guys took off, which is good. Well, this guy didn't, but that guy's good. I may have to come back there. This guy's going, oh shoot, here, doesn't really matter. I'm going to need one more missionary, it looks like, probably. Um... The holy site there. I'm going to plop this down before I have any troubles. Oh, wow. I get it. the adjacency even if it's next to theirs? Wow. Oops. Alright, so we want to... I want to purchase some tiles. What's going on? Please stop. Uh, I want to purchase some tiles. I want to get this tile and this tile, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this I'll chop out the Saguba in there and then it'll be eventually a plus six um Not a very good holy site. I can't get. I can't do this because I lose the adjacency from the from that. I could put it there, but then it doesn't give a boost here, and I'd like to I'd dissolve it this more than anything. And I don't really want. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go Monument and I'll do the Chop Chop into that Saguba. He's established. Holy Sight in four. Um. Now, I, this is an interesting situation here because I need to get trade routes going to my allies, but with Kumasi, it's hard. I've already got all of my close guys with a trade route out of Niani. I think I am going to jump one in. That's a really nice Liverpool one. I'm going to go ahead and grab that Liverpool trade route. That'll help with the... I really want to level to Alliance. Uh, yeah, I guess technically it would. If I put it here, it would be a three. I would, yeah, I guess technically I could do that. And it'd be a plus four eventually. Yeah, I guess so. It just, I have to, the thing is, is getting the aqueduct built as well. I got some chops as well. I could put Magnus in here. And chop out some of this work as well. Yeah, that's an actually not a bad idea. I lose the 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 um. I could get the population as well by eating that stuff. Much better holy sites, good because I get the production as well when I get them following the religion. Yeah, that still works. It just it'll just be a slightly delayed. It won't when I get it built, it probably won't be four yet, but eventually I'll get it. And then, then I'm not then I'm not um I'm not necessarily tied to keeping this. I could chop that out and mine it. Although it's not a bad lumber mill, especially since I lose on mines. Uh life life anger? Lefonger? I don't know. Thank you very much for the follow. Let me know how to say your name if you'd like. I hate saying people's names wrong, so. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go like this. Oh, he's expanding up there pretty good. like somebody got wiped out there or that might have been where those no because it's outside somebody's borders i was gonna say it could be anywhere a wonder got beat all right next turn is temple of artemis when i saw the house of artemis that mounted to the clouds those other marvels lost their brilliancy and i said lo apart from olympus the sun never looked on aught so grand One thing I was thinking about doing is, yeah, I don't know. I'll see about the theater square here and then the Coliseum there, because the Coliseum can't be destroyed by the volcano, right? Entertainment complex in two turns. Yeah, I don't currently have a cheap campus. I need some more districts to finish. Yeah, I'm going to have some more districts finishing here very soon. Should have campuses springing up pretty cheap here in a sec. Okay, so now there's a Barbarian. If we could keep him alive, who do I need a Barbarian kill with? 
Uh, kill a unit with a knight. I could get... When I get the technology for stirrups, I can build my special unit and kill it. That'll count as a knight kill. Could grab a spearman, but I don't really care about that tech right there. That's not as big a deal. Hey, Josh, how you doing, bud? Um, all right, so these guys are both following so what I'm actually gonna do is put this guy inside the city and go to sleep and then if I need him on this end I will use him this is annoying oh wait this city is not falling anymore I thought it was shoot okay Try there like that pop there I'm gonna need at least one more um, right now I'm buying markets though Rob Ford pride of my city you from Toronto peppermint Has Patch been built yet? It sure has. It's right here. In three turns, I'm going to need another tile. Is this city going to... Three turns. Perfect. I need a builder to come over there and do that. This guy's going to be the one. All right. I think I'm gonna wait for the extra two charges on my builders. So this city's gonna have to wait an extra couple turns. Didn't time that great. This is going to work out well here, though. Because I can upgrade this guy eventually, and he'll that guy hopefully will just stand there and wait. Hopefully he's not going to move around. Next turn. So that actually line up good. One turn left, I go to there. Then I can settle. So that's not going to waste any time there. Here, it's going to be a couple turns there. Um, I was thinking about chopping this down, but this is almost done. I could chop out the campus, though. Next turn, I remove that, and then I chop the campus out. Hopefully, that's going to be a cheap campus is the only thing. Yeah, I think it is. Because they're yeah they're cheaper than the aqueduct so these are all these are all under the uh, number. So I'm actually going because I can do it. I'm actually going to place this. Wait a sec, I want to actually see the actual number. Hundred nine. Two 
two turns, so that trader will slip right into the uh, Taj Mahal. Um, right into the Taj Mahal there. Uh, envoys, envoys, envoys. We're about to have libraries, so being here would be good. And this is a lot of extra gold in Zanzibar. That might be first Sus. It is first Sus. Wow. And that's a lot of, and that's also amenities. Nice. Um, we're actually over 50 minutes. Give me one second, chat. I see the question there, Talkin. I'm going to answer that question extremely well. I'm actually just going to wrap up this video here in a moment, and then I'll get right to you. Um, Reform church boost. That's following our religion there now. Yeah, nice. This guy will follow it. We've just got a couple more here to do. I'm going to need more missionaries, but I'm trying to buy my markets right now as the priority. Up to 125 science and 114 culture at turn 93. I think that's doing pretty dang good. You know what I'm saying? I kind of want to mine this. But I also want to come down here and mine over here. Um, I'm going to mine that and then we'll go. Yeah, I think I'm going to wrap that up here. Uh, as yet another episode complete. As we, can we meet anybody? Uh... Oh, is that? Oh, that's Patch Cootie's book. Patch Cootie getting spread out. Patch Cootie's getting spread out. Um, yeah, there we go. So when we come back, um, probably two, maybe three more videos left in this series. When we come back, I'll have the campuses online. Probably towards the end of this era, I might, I might do an update. Once we get campuses online, we have a massive science and we start accelerating towards the finish line. So Twitch, of course, don't go anywhere. YouTube, that's the end of episode four of what will be a full run of Wonder Start because uh, things are going super well. This is going to be fun. It's going to be it's going to be really <laughs> curious to see how this goes. Uh, T Matt scene. I have no idea. I don't know. The letters don't make sense. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. YouTube, you're fantastic. Thank you very much. If you're enjoying this series, of course, do not forget to like the videos. It means a lot. It makes all the difference in the world. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.